Hi, in this session, we will see how to implement a customer exit for the transition code SU01. So the business comment is whenever a user log in. So based on the business role, based on the business role which is assigned, we want to set the default start transition code. Okay. So the other way for this, like in the user level, once we log in, if you go to extras and if you set a start transition code here, so whenever user log in, by default, that transition code get open. But this is need to be done at user level for every user. So instead of doing this, what we will be doing, we will implement that through a customer exits. Like based on the role, by default, the transition should come. Okay. So what are the steps in this? First, find out the package name of the code SU01. Then check if there is any exit available for that package with the help of SMOD. And if you found any suitable exit name for that package, then create a project with the T-code CMOD and then add our logic there. Okay, so we'll see how to do that. First, go to SC93, enter T-code as SU01. Double click on the program name. Go to object directory entry. Here we can see the packages SUSR. Okay, now go back. Now go to T code S mod. Click on F for help. Enter the package name here that is SUSR. So we can see only one exit is there that is SUSR. 001 select the components okay so there is one function model exits this means we can implement this okay you can see the include is here now as we want to set the transition code based on the user role first see where the user role assigned if you go to su01 open any user here is the roles tab. Okay, here all the roles are maintained. Now, if you want to read this, there is a table called HER underscore users. If you pass the username here, then you can see all the roles for that user. Okay, so here we will be checking for the particular user, uh, particular role. And based on that, we'll set a transition code. Go back. Now, go to for project, uh, project creation. T code is C mod. Give the project as ZSU01 V3. Click on create. Give the description default start transition save save in a package click on announcement here enter the exit name that is susr 4 times 01 okay this is already used so first we have to delete this announcement then only you can create First, let me delete that announcement. Okay. Now I can create because one in us, uh, one exit we can use only only one project. Okay. Now create. Go to change mode. Announcement. Save. Now go to components. Double click here. Double click on the include name. 
split object. Now, as I shown you the table that is agr underscore users. So declare one work area, gs underscore roles type agr underscore users. Okay, this contain the role. Now, first I am checking one role. Select single all from agr underscore users into corresponding fields of gs underscore roles where which field you have to pass look here where agr underscore name equal to i'm checking one role that is zhrms underscore admin okay for the uname that is the login user okay now if gs underscore roles agr name is not initial then what we have to do that log that we have to write here if system find the user zhrms underscore admin for this user then call transition code zhrms save check activate okay go back go back this is red activate not screen okay so i will log into the system again let me log in again so you can see by default i can see the transition zhrms which i set there this is a t called zhrms okay because this role is assigned now i am checking for some other role now instead of this I am checking some other role. Check ZCRM underscore call center. Now I am checking the role ZCRM underscore call center. And if the user has this role assigned to it, then call the transition code Z call D. Okay. 7 activate go back let me log in again now you can see this is a different t code the name is z call d you can check here this is z call d so in this way this is the concept like based on the user role which is assigned to user we can set the start transition code then we don't have to do that at the individual user level okay so in this way we have seen how to implement a customer exits for transition code su01 okay so in this way we have finished the session thank you